and Rila gives you approval for registering, then that is that that will give a tremendous amount of comfort to investors. That is true. Uh, not asking you about the specifics of the rules, um, we do know that Maharashtra has been working on its final draft. When can we expect the final draft? Any what time. happens after the draft is, is it open for uh, objections? Few days, yes, for suggestions, objections, yes. Okay. And post that, it becomes the rule? Yeah. Okay. One last question. So you did, of course, mention that the regulator, that the, uh, you know, the individual that who will be picked will be someone who understands the sector really well. Is he likely to be a civil officer who spent about 30 years in the industry? No, law provides in for… In UD secretary you, and you know, various uh, other posts? Uh, well, uh, law provides for qualification mm -hmm. and uh, law also provides methodology. Rules have further elaborated those processes, but law provides qualification, uh, what sort of qualification are required, it also provides for a committee, yeah. law itself provides for, for a, a committee, committee to yeah, to, uh, to make a recommendation, well, ultimately power is of government to a point, but it does provide of a committee to be headed by chief justice or any judge appointed by him. Now one will have to believe in fairness of this kind of mechanism mm -hmm. that uh, uh, recommendations of names will be of that class and it will give government that opportunity to pick one of the best. Okay, uh, is, does anybody in the panel have any responses to what we've heard Mr. Shrikant Singh say or any questions? Regarding the price, uh, you see, uh, till the implementation actually happens, there will be a lot of rush uh, by the builders to complete the ongoing projects because the, all the ongoing projects will uh, be coming under RERA. So there will be rush to complete the projects that will bring a lot of finished product in the market. So in the short term, uh, although the launches may come down, but in the short term because the supply will be there. But in the medium term, yes, initially there may be some uh, slowdown in the launches, but with the cheap money flowing into the uh, sector uh, because of uh, the improved transparency, uh, maybe that will balance the price. That Mr. Shah? I would say that uh, there is going to be, this transition is going to be very important. The newspapers, if last six months, if anybody has seen since 1st of May what has happened, suddenly there is a spurt of so many launches and I believe every day half of the newspaper is with the color supplement of the offer of the new launches, which everybody wants to catch up before this law comes. Because once the central government decides to bring into implementation the rest of the RERA, then in that event within three months the project will have to be registered provided the rules are in place, which I believe that the grapevine says that the rules will be in place in probably a very short time. As a result of which this price business will probably get uh, slightly balanced, slightly imbalanced and the, uh, the stocks may go little down because there is going to be a lull before the industry comes to terms with this particular law. One thing I want to surely refer to that this law refers to disclosure by the builder saying that what is going to be the period within which he is expecting to complete the project. Your registration, your website registration, everything will be only for that period which you say you will complete it. Thereafter, there be, it will be extended as presently advised only for a period of one year for force majeure conditions. Otherwise, your project will be taken away. This is a, one of the most serious concerns which the industry has which in private discussions with their advisors and consultants they have. And the government will have to expand this definition of force majeure, where the force majeure could be the, the planning authority or maybe environmental body or maybe some another regulatory authority intervening and not giving the permissions or completion. Then in that event, a project cannot be taken away or given away to the allottees or their association. That part is a very serious concern, which I would like to leave it with uh, Mr. Singh today, because whether I will get his ear next time and when I will get it, I do not know. So I just want to share this with him that if the rules are in making that a force majeure definition and the category and the circumstances will have to really take care of this kind of involuntary situations with which the, the promoters and the proponents of the project will probably be faced. That's an important thing. Yeah, I'll ask everyone, we have to keep it really short, Mr. Hirandhan. Uh, I think uh, what Mr. Shekhan Singh uh, said was correct. Transition is going to be difficult, but since the change where everybody is very uncomfortable when change really happens, but I'm sure we'll be able to manage it. And other things, we hope that the government and the 
machinery will really take care of the concerns that we have, especially in terms of the liquidity that is needed in the intervening period for those ongoing projects. I think that's a concern we have to leave on the table so that we don't have too many of the defaults of people not wanting to register because they can't register, because they don't have the funds that they need to bring on the table. Well, I think uh, Mr. Singh has promised us uh, that it will be a fantastic regulation, rules and regulation, and I hope it is. It will, it will definitely help the sector. But let me tell you one thing, at least, uh, at least the government is thinking about this sector. See infrastructure, see hospitality. All sectors are reeling under stress. So at least, at least something is done for the real estate sector. Good, bad, we will, we, it will take. You see, when the telecom regulators came, came in, everybody was worried. When, when, when insurance regulators came in, everybody was worried. I, I believe this sector is uh, set to go, uh, be, uh, it, will, it will do well in the near future, uh, if the rules are in, uh, rightly, uh, properly done. Yeah, so uh, I firmly believe that there will be a lot of consolidation. There will be a clear distinction between the men and the boys. There is going to be a transformation. Any transformation, unlike change, is going to be painful. I always feel that transformation is like you know, a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, which is irreversible. So in the long term, I think it's a good act, good for the consumer, good for all of us. Uh, Mr. Singh, I have one last question for you. You did, of course, mention that um, the team that's writing the rules has consulted with various stakeholders in the industry. And there is a view in general that the rules will sort of be final. But that consultation process continues with the regulator and the rules will evolve over a period of maybe the next five, ten years. Tell us what that process is. So you see, the first, how it is staged out, you see, in law. First is the law which is made by parliament. Second will be rules which will come to provide for implementation of this act. Now, there are a lot of things which will be covered by regulations to be done by authority themselves and uh, with maybe prior approval of government. Now, issue is, uh, it's a process, now, rule also is not a, 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 not a thing which cannot be modified or amended subsequently based on the experience or inputs or certain thing. So, it's a dynamic uh, instrument uh, and more dynamic than law because law making is much more uh, process oriented and a tough job to get through but rule making to that extent is more dynamic easier uh, to uh, to modify it so when by experience or on the maybe recommendations of authority if certain things have to be changed certainly government is always open to these kind of ideas and these kind of recommendations. So there's no two open average. I think that's a word of comfort that everybody here will appreciate. We've run out of time. I want to thank the gentlemen on the panel for giving us your time and uh, I'd like to thank the audience as well. Thank you very much.